Hello guys and welcome to First Time Fisher with me Big Bird and Dazzler and we've come to Meadowlands Fishery in Warwickshire in Coventry today because we want to try out a new piece of kit which is called the Catch Clicker. You may have seen it in magazines, you may have heard about it, uh, but basically it is a clicker system where you are able to function out your feeder match uh, between what you catch here, there, whether you haven't, whether you've caught it at this time, that time, and all of this sort of stuff. It's like a mega feeder computer fishing yeah, differentiate between your fish that you've caught as well. You have to take things seriously, don't you? You have to say the actual like the actual words that I'm trying to look for, and I'm just trying to explain it in layman's terms. But you use like differentiate and stuff like that. I couldn't spell it. Basically, this thing is going to tell you on your session where you caught, where you didn't catch, where there's need for improvements. It is for the absolute feeder gods of us all the ones who just like feeder fishing take it really seriously enter golden reel matches and all that jazz isn't it yeah. but we're here at meadowlands you've never fished it never fished ever it. have you no i have only on occasions but we know that there's big fish in it and we want to try and find them today so we sort of need a venue expert don't we yeah and we have found a venue expert for today. The venue expert couldn't make it, so we've drafted this one in. We've got the bagger. Here he is. Come on, coming into shot. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so we've got Grant here. Grant has won endless amounts of matches here at Meadowlands, and you know exactly where it concaves, converses. See, I'm using big words like you now. They are big words. <laughs> you know where the cliff edges are. You know where everything is, don't you, at this venue? I'd like to think so, yeah, after the years I've been here. So you've told us to go on pegs 45 to 49, yep. which we've done. Yeah. We've found you. We've found your pegs 45 and 46, haven't we? Yeah. And you, so for some reason you wanted 46 instead of 45. Yeah. I'm guessing that's from a previous result. But basically, we're going to be having a look at the catch clicker today. Now, it's on your box, isn't it? Very smart. Is it? Yeah. Are you impressed with it? I am it? impressed with it. Looks quite intelligent for me, to be honest. It's quite intelligent. You've, you've had a little bit of fishing already because we've just had to try and test it out, haven't we? Yeah. And what are your first thoughts? I think it's a complex bit of kit, to be honest. I think, can't see me not using one now. You yeah. can't see yourself not using one? Yeah, honestly, I think. Right, on that bombshell, let's just get to it. Let's go and show you the actual catch, catch clicker on the box. I love the of that. Let's go and actually show you the catch clicker on the box and let's go through some of the functions and let's hopefully get what get a couple of these two because you're going to have a fish as well, aren't you? Well, I'll... It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we have done that to you before. <laughs> you don't come to venues not to fish, do you, Dazza? I've got my wades on today, as you can tell. I'm not all branded up because I've drawn the short straw and I'm getting in the water to try and get you guys some shots of some of the fish here at Meadowlands because they are absolutely superb, aren't they? Yeah, there's some proper was, things. Uh, I nearly got washed away, to be fair, when you did get in the water. Nearly took me off my platform. Just saying. Don't laugh. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to go get in the water and show you some fish shots, right? And let's hopefully catch some stuff. What's our methods going to be today on the feeder? We're not going to use a we're not going to use a, a, a method, are we? No, we're going to use a hybrid feeder, and then we're going to use a bit of bomb and pellet work for closer in later on. That's what you thought when it does. I did think that. <laughs> to be honest. There we go. Right, off you go then, boys. Go to your pegs. Go to your pegs. Right. Catch clicker. I absolutely love this piece of kit and I love technology and I love tackle. Nobody knows what my 
Right then, Grant, we're halfway into our session with the catch clicker. What are we thinking? Give us a little update. I'm thinking you're not going to get it back. I haven't said that you can have it. Well, you're not having it back. No, on the serious side, I think I think it's brilliant, to be honest. Like, it tells me everything I want to know. Uh, obviously, you've got a stopwatch in, in there, which tells me where my bike times are. A lot of them, like, five minutes today. I've got a count, I've got a counter one and a counter two on there. I'm using the counter one for my carp and a counter two for my skimmers. Uh, it's telling me... When I'm when I'm failing, basically, when I'm not catching, uh, it lets you know when you're not yeah, catching. <laughs> I weren't going to say anything, about, I weren't going to say, but I might as well. Uh, yeah, it's letting me know when I'm failing and I'm not catching. Uh, it gives me a little um, black dot on here, tells me each cast I've, I've not caught one, or when I clicked a carp, it'll give me like a like a little box with a dot, so I know you know what fish I've caught, when and when on each cast. So give us give us your last seven seven casts what's the outcome on them so i've had first three with no bites and then i've had a carp a skimmer a carp a skimmer and a carp so it's it's brilliant really although it's it's aimed at the feeder fishing i can see it like being brilliant from the other aspects of fishing as well you think you'd be using it for like pole fishing yeah definitely part? yeah definitely i like a friend of mine he he uses one i started a match he presses presses play on the stop stopwatch and he it times his whole match when i think in a, in a big match, that's brilliant. You know exactly where you are in your match. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's fantastic, to be honest. And uh, you're going to have a job getting that back off me, I reckon. <laughs> right, well, let's see if we can get one more. And I'll tell you what, the next fish, yeah. what we'll do is we'll come round and we'll see how you're clicking it. Yeah. And we'll see that little icon pop up onto your match screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Grant, while we're waiting for this next bite as well, let's yeah. have a chat to your subscribers. What's on your side tray for today? There ain't a lot, to be honest, but what there is, is, is for a simple day session. I've got, obviously, I've got my feeders here, my wafters on. Got my 50 micras, with a little bit of uh, syrup on. What syrup have you got in there, then? A bit of sour liquid, that is. A bit of sour liquid? Yeah. I always find springtime, well, sort of winter, spring. That's and how long do you put in them in the, in the water for? About 90 seconds. And then I'll air them out in the landing head, or I don't know. Squeeze the water out? Yeah, get all the water out. Yeah, I've got a few micros there with a bit of different stuff on, just as a bit of a boost if I need it. Bit of a change-up. Change-up. Because we have about change-up baits on our hook, don't we? Yeah. But you're actually having change-up micros as well. Yeah, yeah. It's just If I feel like the peg needs a bit of a boost or I need to pull an odd fish, they're quite a strong pellet. I'll put some flavouring on, that's quite a strong... They're quite red as well, I've noticed. Yeah, they? yeah. You know, the water, if you look in the water, it's really coloured. So I feel like that silhouette's going to obviously help bring the fish in. Then I've got me, obviously, tub of water, test me wafters in and an odd ball of micros. So you're always testing your wafters? Yeah, you? always test the wafters. Um, and obviously I took an odd ball of micros in there if I feel like they're drying out or they're too sticky. So I can uh, adjust that. Yeah, and what's this What's this little thing just there? What's this? Wow, well, they're me, uh, me babies, they are. I've got a selection of sizes of tuna wafters in there. Lovely. Six to ten mil. Eight mils to go to. A few change up baits, they're just a more of a brighter pink. I feel like, I feel like a pink's a good colour for me. The old faithful trusty orange. Orange. Yeah, they're good in dirt. The old dirty. ringer's chocolate orange. Yeah, they've been right, around. Right. Yeah, been around years, still mega. And not many eight mils left. I've had quite a few on the bomb line, although it is very windy. Uh, I had a few on the bomb. So, yeah, that's about it. Catapult, some of spare rocks. Uh, Guru pliers, as you know. I like, like them. You them, like you? them. They're good. And that's about it, mate. No All simple right. days fishing. All right, do me a favour, will you? Yeah. Get me a fish. I'm trying. I'm cold in here. <laughs> I'm cold as well. Right, mate, you've just cast it back out whilst we're going to show us this. Yeah. I'm just back. getting the sensation back in my legs. It is cold in there, mate. I bet it is. The fish are cold. I'm cold. I'm not even in the water. Let's zoom in on this. So I've just caught that skimmer. And remember the last time I told you, I've got counter one for carp and counter two for skimmers. So we're on seven. So I've just caught that skimmer. So hang on, let's just have a look at what you've been catching. So you've got dot, dot, dot. Yeah. And then you got, and then we go to the other side, to the far left. Yeah. We've got dot in a circle, and then a 
circle. Yeah. And a dot and another square. Well, square in it. Yeah. And then a square, and then a dot and a square, and then you've got square, 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 which are all skimmers, They're yeah. All skimmers, yeah. So you're about to press counter two. That's my skimmer counter. Okay. Oh. And that's added one more. Yeah. Square and it's moved them all along one. Yeah. It's so that's to show you've had six skimmers in a row. Yes. Also, that's a good time to do it when you've just cast it out as well. Because it, it restarts your timer. Restarts my timer. That's good. Yeah. So on counter one, you've got three fish at the top. Three. So carp. you've got three carp and yeah. eight skimmers. Yeah. Oh, 14 in total. It's not bad for a cold day, really. I suppose. It gives you a lot of info, doesn't it, Grant? Yeah, it does give you a lot of info. You no. Know, this fills all the little, yeah. You know, and a little bite then. But, um. Oh, it's come back. Yeah, that's on. Yeah, it's on. Another skimmer, I think. Oh, I think we're filming it from back here. It just fills all the, all the little gaps of information you need, don't you know? Just telling you everything you need to know, really, about, about the times you're fishing, what fish you're catching, like, like you say, the last five or six fish have all been bream. No, you're not a fan of the bream, are you? Not a fan of the bream, mate. No. Not a fan. They're all right. Fill in the gap, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're, they're great fish. I mean, you catch five of them, yeah. that's a carp, you know what I mean? Yeah, you are right. So, last two to eight mil. Superb. Prime skimmer. Right. So we'll pop him back now. Let's put him back. And I'll do the repeat the process and I'll show you from stage what from what right from the beginning. So let's cast this back out where we caught that. Yeah. Just there. So pop you in. come back to catch clicker. Yeah. Skimmer's having a bit of a meltdown down there. <laughs> Skimmer's having a meltdown, oh, look. Go on. See you Come later. on, skimmer, off you go. There he goes. <laughs> so, caught another skimmer. So, counter two. Oh, Nine fish, and it's now starting to stop watch again, which I've just casted out. So, that's definitely, that's definitely the best way of doing that. So, yeah. Mate, it is clever, isn't it? It is very clever. It's clever that they've come up with this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's the best, the best clicker stopwatch I've ever used, without a doubt. So, you I'm going to enjoy using that on my next venue. Yeah, you ain't, because I'll be having it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what would you give it out of 10 then? 10 out of 10. It is a 10 out of 10, 10, out 10 isn't of 10, it? Yeah. I'm well, well, well impressed with it. Yeah, I am. The fact it sits on your box, because you ain't going to have to take that off, are you? No, that's Well, only to give it me back. No, but it's never going to, that's going to stay on that club now forever. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately yeah. for you. <laughs> Right, thanks for your help today, mate. Pleasure. Um, appreciate it. I'll come round here so we can get... So, you're fishing this weekend? Tight lines. <laughs>